Good evening and welcome. I'm Rhonda Stivers and I'm Eva Kennedy. Good evening. And we will be your host this year for Cos the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce's Built Business Building Business. We're brought to you live each Monday evening at 6.30 p.m. And you're probably asking, so what's this show all about? Well, the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce is the second oldest minority-owned chamber in the country. Can you believe located right here in Chicago? Wow, I think that is awesome. And I am so excited to be here um, with you this, this evening and really looking forward to spending some time together going forward. Yes, and for those of you that do not, that are not aware of the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce, we have a very rich history. Some of the uh, most well-known business leaders have come through the chamber or helped to start it. And uh, we're still hanging in there. We're still advocating for small uh, minority and woman-owned businesses. And just what we do, we do a little bit of everything. Any, anything that a small business can, uh, can be of, in need of, we can help. If we can't, we will steer you to the right resources. We partner with several other agencies, such as uh, the SBA, you know, government agencies. We work with private corporations, but we are your advocates. And even for those that are thinking of opening a business, we're here for you. We can do things like assisting with business plans, assisting with certifications, helping uh, steering you in the right directions for financing. Anything about business, entrepreneurship, ask us, the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce. Rhonda, I think that is so important because I am a small minority owner myself. And I know when I started my business, I didn't really have a process. I mean, in terms of where I could go and find information that would impact me and people that look like me. So I think it's so important when you're starting a business that you know you have an advocate for you, someone that's going to work with you and help you so you can compete uh, with these small with, with these larger businesses because as a small business owner you can really get lost so I think this is so wonderful and it's a, a great opportunity for small businesses as, and uh, minority um, and women-owned businesses to uh, be a part of yes we like to say we are the leaders in technical assistance for small businesses and uh, as far as the Chamber of Commerce, there are many chambers in the uh, in our area. There are some spe for uh, specific needs, specific communities. We are an affiliate chamber of the Greater Chicago Land Chamber, which is you know really huge. And but we do partner with them as well, and we follow all of the same rules and standards of any Chamber of Commerce. In, uh, in the old days, well, when chambers first started, they were really called boards of trade. Mm. And, and, that's, and when, they mean, when they say trade, they mean business. And that's basically you know, what we do. Not only that, but we also uh, advocate uh, legislation, legislation that is friendly to uh, small businesses, and we will also go after legislation that is anti-small business in our view. And when I say our, our the, uh, the chamber is made up of members. Our board of directors are all members, and the members have the say. There is no one person at the top you know, that makes all the decisions. It is a membership uh, organization and with that members pay a fee and those fees vary depending on what size business you are and where you are in your business we even have uh, some uh, uh, we, we even have programs now where you your uh, membership would be free for the first six months or 12 months and those are things that can be answered on our uh, website but this is a very valuable organization to belong to when uh, there are many people in Chicago, when, you, when they hear the name Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce, they don't recognize it. We are an assist agency, so, uh, and that means we, when uh, the Chicago Women's Business Development Center, the uh, city of Chicago, 
when when people come to them for certain uh, assistance, they can refer them to the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce. We offer many workshops and our workshops are uh, conducted by our members. Yeah. All of our members are business people right here in the community and they volunteered for the workshops. And, we, and the workshops are free. We don't charge. We just ask that if you commit that you show up because we usually do them in uh, some of our members' offices. They have been so generous to donate office space uh, to us. You know, whatever they can give, they are willing to uh, to give. We do have uh, fundraisers, mm -hmm. you know, as well. In the past, we, we had our very successful evening with friends that, you know, people talked about. And at that time, we gave away uh, civic awards. Mm. You know, we had the hard hat award. We had the volunteer award. But it's a great evening for business, uh, small business, uh, large businesses, as well as government agencies to come together. And uh, we recognize those that have shown uh, had, that have risen above in our small business community. Wanda, you've touched on a lot, but Something that you said resonates with me that I just want to back up a little bit and talk about. Mm -hmm. Because you, you talked about the board. You said the board are also the members. Mm -hmm. And you talked about workshops. You, you, you talked about resources that the members provide to each other. Mm -hmm. I think that is so important because it's for the people, ran by the people. Exactly. So there's ownership there. Absolutely. So it makes you feel really good. And, and, and it's also that trust factor, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Because when you're starting out as a business owner, um, and unless you have... Um, business experience as an owner, prior experience, you really don't know. Exactly. And you're looking for people that are going to uh, be in your favor, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that you can trust, people that's going to guide you, people that's going to support you, people mm -hmm. that are going to be there for you. And as you were talking, it just reminded me there's no separation here. Exactly. You know, it's almost like, it, this is family, right. you know, so I'm a small business owner, but I have this family and this family, because it's family and it's made up of so many members, there's a big voice. So I feel like I have this big voice representing me exactly. as a small business and owner. Resources. And I think that's powerful. Yeah. Right. And the resources, resources, resources. And even if you're not a paying member of the chamber, if you call us, you have a question, you need some direction, we would be more than happy to assist you. The uh, Again, we are a membership-driven organization, but we do have a board of directors because everyone has to have a foundation. Everyone mm -hmm. has to have guidance, mm -hmm. and that's what our board of directors do. They are not there with the... Uh, to strong arm, you know, it's only there to guide because each of them have been, you know, have started a business and they've been there when, you know, they were just in the uh, uh, the business plan stage. And so, again, we will help you with all of those steps, starting with the business plan. Right. Yeah. And we're going to go into uh, depth with the, uh, in all of the steps to starting a business, you know, in uh, future programs. And I don't know how many of you uh, have been with us over the years. We have been, uh, the Chamber has sponsored this show. Ooh, I started in 2009 and it was in full swing well before then. So we're an established right. program, uh, an ex established agency, and we are so proud to continue our partnership with Can TV. If you can only see this new studio, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. it's state of the art. And it's just a great place to be. You'll see, you know, a lot more bells and whistles mm -hmm. <laughs> as we uh, go through the season. But, you know, talking about what you can expect this year, uh, again, for those of you that have followed us, we have had, we've tried to do things in a series. Uh, we had a series about legacy businesses before uh, uh, when we were still at the old studio. And we thought this year we would start off with, Technology. Technology. Yes. 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 We're going to talk about how important, how vital it, uh, technology is for a small business. Not just having a, a an iPad or you know being able to access 
you know, websites or Google, you know, on your phone. It is so important. Technology plays such an important role in how we manage our business, even from your accounting. You know, sometimes, you know, you don't have to pay an accountant every right. month. If you can use QuickBooks, you know, or some of the other software programs out there, you can you can do it yourself on a monthly basis. I'm not saying you're end of the year right. and I don't want to cut accountants out because we have several accountants. Right, right that are members of our organization, but I think they appreciate it more when you are more organized and have some kind of knowledge. You don't, you don't have to be uh, te technically savvy, mm -hmm. you know, to, but it, it's important for a, a small business person to have some understanding of technology and how it affects their business. Well, you know, when you talk about technology and you were talking about business plans, I mean, one of the first places that you can go to learn about business plans is use the technology. They have so many templates mm -hmm. and you may have to uh, find one that fits you. Right. But there is so much. There's a wealth of information. And I just I'm going to going to age myself for a minute. Mm -hmm. But I remember years ago, you had to wait until the people came around and sold you the encyclopedia. Right. And that's when you got all your information from. Mm -hmm. But now, as you stated, because of technology, um, everything is right there at your fingertips. And it's just um, it's just a friendly tool mm -hmm. and it can provide you with so much information. So with the technology and the 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 guests that you that we plan to have here and and what we plan to cover over the next 13 weeks um, hopefully we'll be able to provide you with some information that's going to help you you know expand in your business and Eva and I are here to we're we're more like facilitators yes. we this is an interactive show please feel free to call in you know ask us questions if we can't help you tonight we will you know uh, direct you to the chamber during our business hours where a uh, uh, someone in that area can answer your question but th this show is for you you know we'd like to share information we talked about uh, having you know being a resource center not only that we want to provide meaningful opportunities for our members and for the uh the public at large and when i say meaning meaningful opportunities when we talk we talk about sharing uh bid proposals when they open you know oftentimes a business person doesn't have time to look you know tr try to find out what bids are open with right. the city mm -hmm. which ones are open with the tollway which ones are open with metra we we serve as that point that resource uh point where you can come to and we will have a list of all the bids and the bid due dates. We even in and if you're construction, our specialty, you know, are you know working with uh, construction firms, mm. but we work with all types of business. Whether you are a um, professional service, like I mentioned, accountants, architects, uh, pr surveyors, uh, insurance. On you know we we have the gamut in our membership so and that's another good thing about uh, belonging to a chamber the networking that yes. you get to do yes and we both know how important networking yes. is you yeah. want to speak about you know and how networking has helped you in your business well first of all just just being here just being here to be able to host us and just be a part of this program right here I started a business a couple of years ago. Um, I am a professional uh, personal development coach and just um, being out and networking and meeting people um, has really helped me kind of grow my business and I've learned a lot from different people even the information that I've learned from you mm -hmm. and just the uh, ability to be able to sit here and say and talk about my business a little bit it's huge mm -hmm. I mean it's really huge but to have people that are professionals and people that know what they're doing because you talked about bids and things like that and contracts and government um, just to have people that you can go to that you can network with or be a part of this this family as I call it mm -hmm. um you know and they know what they're doing so just to to be a part of this i think is huge right i think it's huge and you know another uh, huge piece of chamber membership when we talk about networking is the opportunity to meet lenders yes you know i'm not saying that they can just you know open up their checkbooks but to help you put your business in order so that you are in the right position you know to uh 
to work with the lender. Yeah. And, and then be and then have people that can help you through the process. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. equally important to have mm -hmm. someone to be able to help you through the process. Right. And we're going to uh, make a little a slight transition here right now. Okay. And Eva, Eva and I are doing double duty here. And so one of us has to uh, change because we have some people calling in and Eva is going to uh, to work the, uh, the telephones tonight. And so I, I mentioned to you earlier about some of the uh, illustrious business leaders that uh, helped to form the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce or were members. You might have heard of a company called Johnson Publications. Well, Mr. Johnson was uh, one of the early pioneers of uh, the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce, as well as Johnson Hair Products and uh, Soft Sheen. These companies helped form uh, the chamber as well as some of the, uh, the educational services that we offer. Do we, uh, is there a caller? I'm sorry. So, you know, again, we invite you to call in, ask us questions. If, uh, if you are interested in joining the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce, that's what we're here for, to help you. And hopefully, oh, we do have a caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, thank you. Can you please explain the female certification process. Can you repeat that caller? I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Can you please explain the uh, small business minority female certification process? Oh, sure. That's, you know, one of our specialties and that's an area that I work very closely with small businesses. It's our uh, minority certification process. You know, oftentimes, uh, for those of you that are, you know, have been seeking bids, you'll find that you know, they tell you you have to be certified. What is that? It's a process that you have to go through, whether it's with the city or, you know, most government agencies, where you have to prove that you are who you say you are. And more than that, and you have to prove that your company is, a, is at least 51% minority owned. It's pretty daunting, the process. And uh, when you first look at the application, most people take it and throw it, you know, out the window. But, you know, we're, spe we're specialists at that and we can help you get through it. You, the business person, would have to provide, you know, the information and there's a lot involved. I mean, we're talking about your taxes, your lease agreements, you know, your, your major contracts that you already have. And... Again, you don't have to be a an established business to be in uh, to get a certification, at least with the city. Uh, some of the agencies do charge. They could be they could run anywhere from two hundred and fifty dollars to five hundred dollars. But you are listed in a book, which is wonderful. You would be on the city's what they call the certification list. And when uh, prime companies are looking for a minority or woman-owned partner, that's the first place they will go. So it's you know you it puts you in a good good spot so that you know you you still have to go out and you know, seek business on your own. But here you are in a directory where they're actually looking for people in your area of specialty. And it's also a tool for you, the small business, because you can network with other businesses. Sometimes a, uh, a prime company may need two or three 
uh, companies that do the same thing or two or three companies that do different things. It depends on what the minority goal is on that contract. But it helps you to get to know, you know, other businesses in your area as well. But the certification process is really, really valuable in order to put yourself, put your business at a totally different level. Uh, there are a lot of agencies out here that require certification, but the good thing is that they reciprocate. So if you fill out, you know, and get certified with the, you know, process with the city of Chicago, there are agencies that are reciprocate. So there's a much shorter form that you would have to fill out in order to complete the uh, the certification process. And you and generally you have to. Uh, uh, certify. You wouldn't go through the whole thing every year, but there's what's called a no change affidavit where you just have to give them current information, you know, make sure your business is still in business, uh, your taxes and and so on. But we pride ourselves in helping companies uh, get through the certification process. It takes a while. It's not something that, you know, happens overnight. You can't look on the bid list and decide, oh, I want to get certified so that I could, you know, be in a position to partner on this project. It doesn't go like that. And first of all, this is a huge city that we live in and a huge state. And so it takes them a while to get through the paperwork. And, you know, to their credit, they have to do the due diligence, again, to make sure you are who you say you are and that you are a minority business. And a minority business is at least 51% minority owned. A woman owned business is at least 51% woman owned. And you must show proof of that. Uh, you know, you, you heard of days back in the old days when, you know, people were not uh, minorities or uh, woman owned businesses they try to make sure that that doesn't happen anymore. And again, so that, you know, our communities do get their, receive their fair share. There's also uh, an organization, Chicago Minority uh, Business Development Council, that's also a certifying agency. And with them, your opportunities to partner are with more corporate uh, types, you know, with large businesses. So really, you have to look and see your business and, you know, the niche that you're trying to, uh, uh, that you fall into, and where do you think it would be more productive. And some people do them all. You can certify with all the agencies, because I always say once you do one certification, it's a lot simpler to follow through to uh, to do several more certifications. And also, I talked about agencies reciprocating. Sometimes states will, will reciprocate. I know that uh, the city of Atlanta reciprocates with the city of Chicago. The city of Houston reciprocates. So, you know, you wouldn't have to go through, you know, all of that, the same process. Then, in addition to uh, our local government agencies, you have the SBA that has what's called 8A certification. That's considered the crim, crim de la crim of certifications, and that puts you in a position to partner and bid on government projects. And, I, and the government buys all kinds of goods. If you go on their website, they, you know, janitorial service to towels, you know, you name it, nails, the government, and even professional services. So, and we have relationships at the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce. We have the relationships with the SBA. And in fact, uh, every season we have them on as a guest and, you know, we can talk about uh, their programs. They even have uh, technical assistance through their, through SCORE, and we work with them as well. But getting back to the, uh, Chicago Minority Business Development Council, again, their certific certification process is a fee, but they also uh, culminate every year with a, uh, a conference and huge networking opportunities. 
So it looks like we've run out of time tonight, but I just wanted to introduce you to the Cosmopolitan Chamber of Commerce. We're looking forward to spending every Monday at 6.30 with you. Myself or Eva will be here and hopefully we'll bring you informative information that will help you in your business. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good week.